I just got done watching episode 3 of Akiba Strips and it was how do I put it it was confusing I don't care so let's, okay let's start with the beginning so it all started when he started watching the um, this idol in the main uh, in, on television. It was really weird. It confused me a lot. It was just this idol, idol singing, very monotone, very unfriendly, not unfriendly, but just cold. And if anything I've ever seen, it's like the least idolish thing I've seen in a long time. So when when right after the credits, you see him going all out on equipment and going out on the concerts and everything it really threw me off a lot I thought it him I thought he was gonna say something like how stupid it was or something but to display this as his current character I'm gonna say um, was interesting because I think like the first third of the episode was just him going out uh, going to concerts uh, uh, getting introduced into better headphones to hear, going out into getting actual sound equipment amplifiers, and these are, and even I, I get really picky when it comes to sound for any of my stuff. So when he was buying stuff, I was like, "Huh, interesting." It's like all things that actually I, that I actually own, because I'm very particular when it comes to sound and the kind of headphones or speakers that I also acquire. But not to the point where he ends up raging his credit card bill at that point. So where he gets his odd jobs. This was, was weird because the the reason it was really weird and confusing is because, you know, after watching the first two episodes and seeing all these fights and stuff, to get to get this weird him going to this idol thing and then and then that's just the first part. The second part of the show is um, Maya's just... She's kind of like aggravated that he's doing all this and why is he not paying attention to, you know, patrolling and protecting the Akiba. And then she's out patrolling with, oh, I forget what the, her name is, but her and the little sister and how they're like, oh yeah, he's into, the, I, he, he always gets into his little things and he gets really um, fixated on one thing and that's how he is. And they're like, okay, if that's how he's going to be, I wonder how this is going to contribute to later. But then, you know, um, then they then they do this whole idol thing where, you know, like, oh, we're going to make you idols from this producer. And like, okay, so this is happening now. All right, I'll let it go. Can go on, go on. So they do all this this stuff one by one. Just, you know, just becoming idols and stuff and doing all this weird stuff. Leading to the point where you discover that they're, ev they're actually evil. And okay. That happened? Sure. I, it was kind of sketchy already in the beginning. It, to the point where at, towards the end when they were doing the swimsuit thing, it was getting to that weird uh, area where it's getting close to pornography. And you're like, okay, yep, that's what's happening. Understood. On top of that, they're evil. Alright, finally, some fighting. You get all that. You get everything done. You know, they fight. It was a reasonable, you know, just quick. They made a note of how he, going through all these concerts, you know, mosh pits and all this. Going through these hordes of enemies was easy. Like, okay, they made a quick note about that. Uh, and so, you know, after the main, the bit, the camera guy was the main evil guy and the producer was kind of his lackey. Um, she still had an eye for them. So, you know, after doing that, you know, I'll still work at you, work with you to be idols. And so the last, the last scene of this is them actually doing a whole idol scene, which was uh, actually performed by one of their, an actual idol group known as uh, Headphones. If I can get this right. And they actually had their um, their their costumes and everything. So you know that that was a, a neat thing to have. Um, I was really confused too, but you know I, I accepted it because it was for what it was. It was mm, okay. I just liked the the end. I wish there were subtitles for the actual song, but I'm not gonna cry too much about it it ended really um hilarious to a point because after the concert was over you know they're all uh, heart beating and out of breath and the only ones there were their kind of their friends and stuff and 
Um, you know, it wasn't like full with people and like I was expecting, but he was just a few people and uh, him there cheering them on and you know it was it was really that's what I was hoping for and it worked so for what it's worth the episode was fun I I really enjoyed it towards the end the, the song was great um, the performance was interesting um, I the end was perfect for what that was so I'm enjoying it so far. I can't wait to see what happens next week. If it's gonna roll like this with little, little niches like this, I'll I'll start getting more accustomed to what it is because it did kind of threw me off. Uh, it's not your classic evil guy plotting so far, and then this middle thing happens and the final things. It's this weird mishmash of stuff, and I'll. I'll take it from, because it's, I'm really enjoying it so far. And throwing in this idol um, tribute thing was really fun too. And um, and the one thing I will know is that during that last scene, uh, even though I, the one thing is I didn't why wasn't Mayo trying to more get upset with all these things? You know, she's she has a job to do, and it bugged me a little that she wasn't trying to. Um, disagree more with all this so but seeing that last scene of her being happy that he's cheering for her and it's really fun it's hopefully that notes is something a little bit better and so i don't know i'm enjoying it so far um episode three was fun so i can't wait to see next week so until next time thanks for watching